an enrollment and triple advantage. He won his first elective office as a teenager, and he's been on the fast track ever since. Now, at the ripe old age of 27, he's our power player of the week. Well, I don't know if, if um, I'm so much in a hurry as I am uh, focused on certain goals. Whether it's in a hurry or focused, Aaron Schock is a man on the move. At age 27, he's the youngest member of the new Congress. Of course, being young and looking even younger does present problems, such as when Schock went to see President Obama address a joint session of Congress. The President of the United States. One of the guards who was not typically there kind of stopped and said, excuse me, and so I had to show him my member's pin, and he apologized, and I said, no problem. It's so, sort of like being carted at a bar. Right, then? yeah. But the congressman got a seat on the aisle to see all the dignitaries. The Supreme Court justices are walking right by. I'm shaking hands with, you know, um, the Chief Justice and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and then, of course, the President. And it was an awesome experience to be there and truly grateful every day, um, and I mean it sincerely, to be able to serve here. Schock has had a lot of presidential face time in his short stint in Congress. When Mr. Obama flew to Schock's home district in Peoria, Illinois, last month to lobby for his stimulus bill, he brought the young congressman along. And inside Caterpillar, the president called Shock out. Aaron's still trying to make up his mind about uh, our recovery package. But the next day, Shock was back on the House floor, and the fiscal and social conservative said he would still vote against the bill. Not one employee at that facility approached me and asked me to vote for this bill. But Aaron Shock has always followed his own path. You opened an IRA at the age of 14. I knew that if I wanted to retire someday, that uh, uh, the beauty of compound interest would suggest that the sooner I started, the sooner I could quit. After the school board refused to let him graduate from high school a year early, he ran against and beat the board president at age 19. Was there no thought, gee, maybe this is t biting off more than I can chew? Well, my parents suggested that. Um, but, <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I really felt compelled to step up and contribute. By 23, he was a state representative. Mr. Speaker, I yield one minute to the newest member of the House, Aaron Schock of Illinois. Now at 27, he's in Congress. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think our government would look a lot different if there were a few more people my age, in their 20s, in the Congress. Um, how different would our Social Security system operate? These are programs that quite frankly, I'm not interested in for the next five or ten years, but I'm concerned about them for the next generation. And what about Shock's future? Governor Shock, President Shock. I don't know what kind of opportunities there will be down the road for me. Um, in politics, you never know who's going to die, you never know who's going to retire, uh, or in Illinois, you never know who's going to get indicted. <laughs> and Congressman Schock is already pushing his first piece of legislation, a bill that would mandate special elections for all U.S. Senate vacancies.